we've had new renders which show just how big the 5G variant of the Galaxy S10 is going to be. The special 5G model is going to be known as the Galaxy S10 Beyond X and it will of course support 5G as well as having some impressive RAM and storage configurations. The display is going to be a 6.7 inch OLED panel with a dual selfie camera on the front. On the rear there's rumours of 4 cameras giving this device 6 cameras in total. It's all going to be powered by a massive 5000 mAh battery and it's reportedly going to offer up to 12 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte internal storage. Samsung announced their 1 terabyte EUFS 2.1 storage yesterday so it could be that this debuts in the Beyond X but we've had no concrete information to back this up. Samsung are going to be launching the Galaxy S10 range at its unpacked event in San Francisco next month but it seems unlikely that the Beyond X will be making an appearance. It will instead be making an appearance in the second half of the year. This makes me wonder if it could actually be part of the Note series. It would seem a little bit strange for them to release this alongside the Note in the second half of the year. A source has claimed that mass production of the Galaxy S10 phones began in Korea on the 25th of January but these are only the models running 4G. When it comes to the 5G models an additional X50 modem is required alongside the Snapdragon 855 in order to provide 5G connectivity. Now while this 5G device may be great for some, it may be that it's too big for other people and of course the cost is going to be much higher. Thankfully when it comes to the S10 range we've got a nice selection to choose from this year. To start with the Galaxy S10 Lite model is of course the entry level model, it's now expected that this is going to be called the Galaxy S10e. The S10 Lite is going to have a flat screen with no curves coming in at 5.75 inches. The battery capacity for this model is 3100 mAh while the rated capacity is 3000 and of course we have had a leaked image of the battery. While there were rumours of graphene batteries in the S10 range it is pretty unlikely and this photo confirms that. It was previously thought that the S10 Lite was going to have a fingerprint sensor on the side but new reports are suggesting that it will actually have an in-display sensor, it's just going to be an optical sensor instead of the ultrasonic found on the other models. It will of course have a single selfie camera on the front and a dual camera setup on the rear. This is most likely going to be a wide angle and maybe telephoto lens. It's going to be available in yellow, white, black, blue and green colour options. Next up we've got the standard S10, now this is going to be a 6.1 inch full curved display and of course an ultrasonic in display fingerprint scanner. The battery capacity is expected to be 3500 mAh which is a welcomed improvement on the previous model. For the S10 we've got a single selfie camera on the front with a triple camera setup on the rear. The triple cameras are going to be in a horizontal layout and it's expected to be a wide angle, a telephoto along with a super wide angle lens which should bring plenty of possibilities for shooting. The colour options we expect on the S10 are going to be black, white, blue and green. Next up we've got the S10 Plus. The Galaxy S10 Plus is going to have a 6.4 inch curved display along with a 4100 mAh battery according to Leica Ice Universe. It will also feature the ultrasonic in display scanner but to differentiate itself more from the S10 it will have a dual selfie camera on the front in the form of a pill shaped cutout. The rear camera layout is going to be the same as the S10 but currently we're unsure if they're going to be using the same sensors and colour variants expected for the S10 Plus are black, white, blue and green. When it comes to the Beyond X we discussed earlier, this model will of course have the 5G modem. It's rumoured to have 6 cameras in total, 2 on the front, 4 on the rear in a horizontal layout. Reports suggest there will be a wide angle, super wide angle, telephoto lens and maybe even a time of flight sensor. It's also going to have the ultrasonic in display fingerprint scanner and of course the huge 6.7 inch display. As said earlier it's reported to have a huge 5000 mAh battery to power the device and colour options are said to be black or the ceramic variant. In terms of sensors we haven't had any solid leaks yet, Samsung have released their Bright GM1 which is a 42 megapixel mobile sensor but I don't think this is going to be included in the S10 range. When it comes to mobile photography though the software is very important and more megapixels doesn't necessarily mean a better camera. Light is very important for photography and the more megapixels the less light the sensor will see for each pixel so it does need to be a good balance and I would no doubt expect Samsung 
done to get this right. When it comes to storage and RAM configurations for the range, we've had a lot of conflicting information, but most are reporting that we should see the 5G variant go as high as one terabyte. Leaked benchmarks have revealed six gig RAM variants, and it's thought that these will likely be the base models. So I would expect six, eight, 10, and even 12. And when it comes to storage, I think we can expect 128, 256, 512, and of course, one terabyte. Now, when it comes to pricing, we've had no news on pricing yet. Sometimes companies surprise us either by going lower than we expected or higher than we expected, but we can expect them to be roughly around the same place as last year. So I would expect the S10 Lite to start around $700, the S10 to be around $800 to $900, the S10 Plus maybe $9 to $11, and of course, the 5G Beyond X is no doubt going to be the most expensive, so probably $1,200 or $1,300. And when it comes to the UK, it will of course be the same prices but in pounds instead of dollars as we generally always have to pay more. But of course, these are leaks and estimates based on previous releases, so that's not necessarily what it's going to be. But as always, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Is there anyone that will be holding off for the 5G Beyond X? And do you think there's a possibility that it could actually be the Galaxy Note? But as always, thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Oh.